videos when I'm glum. And, uh, you know, my pain stuff is making me, I'm quite glum. I, I can't seem to jump to gratitude, you know. Anyway, um, so today is camping day, Friday. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we go camping with the grandchildren. Willem doesn't want to camp, so he's not going to do it. Anyway, but I've gotten things packed. I've got my long list of things, and now I'm just down to a few little items now. have to go to the pharmacy and pick up some pills. And got to go, I guess we get the kids. We First, we have to find out what time they're going, what time they leave home, so we can be there. And might want to just go and unload a lot of the stuff at the campsite. And then, and then there's more stuff to bring. It's hard to do this with the children on site. But if Elida picks them up there on Sunday, then I don't need to, then I don't need to have their spaces. So I could do a two trip thing and bring it home in one trip. I'm I'm not quite sure about the sleeping yet. So we're going to be in a tent. I'll have a cot. Maybe I should get the other the children cots. If I get them cots, then we have three cots and we don't have to worry about a whole lot of bedding. Then their sleeping bags and pillows will be fun, will be plenty. So you don't have to take a lot of insulation to protect you from the ground. What do you think? Have to go pick up some food. I took some pots and pans. I hope to cook on the wood stove. Oh yeah, there's a water container I want to get. I didn't write that down. I better write it down. Because otherwise it'll not get on the list. And what is it called? A water container. And while we're over here, we might as well sit in this chair instead. I also am going to make a little some fire starters because it's been raining. Look at this stuff. This is the fleece. I put some fleece in this. I want to show you these fibers. I shouldn't be making it into this stuff, but it's pretty dirty. It's got all this stuff in it. So, But look at the length of those fibers. That's an, that, those are enormous. I shouldn't burn it. I should be using it. Anyway, it's just a little bit here. Just a little egg carton full of this stuff. And I've got the oven on and I've got some candles in it melting up so I can pour over this. I usually use dryer lint, but I don't have any dryer lint anymore because I don't have a, vent, a venting dryer. I have a something else. Look at how pretty it is. Oh, you can see out there how pretty it is, can't you? Yep. I'm not, I'm not getting rest. I'm working very hard and I'm getting tired out, but I haven't been going to bed early enough. There's that cat again, that brown cat with a white stripe. I don't know whose these cats are. We don't have any cats. At one time we had some feral cats, but that was gone, that's over. The last one, you know, we have we have vicious animals out here that take care of those things. We don't end up with feral cats that last very long. Which to me, I have birds. I people with birds and people with cats have different priorities. Anyway, so look at how beautiful it is. What a clear day, high pressure. I'm I want to make sure I have everything together, and yet I have extra time, which is good. And you know, it's better to pack early than to pack later, because otherwise, the longer you put it off, the whole time you're putting it off, it's making you more anxious and exhausting you, because you have to keep a lid on the little voice that says, go pack. No, I'm not, I'm not packing, I'm doing this. 
if I just packed yesterday, but you see, I have to also have a place, have to check it off the list and put it in the car. Check it off the list and put it in the car. Otherwise, it's just a pile of stuff. Because until it's in the car, if you check it off and it's not in the car yet, it might not get to the car. So what is the time now? It is 1 o'clock. And I think it's supposed to rain at 3, which kind of messes up any ideas of going and putting stuff at the site. And and go to the grocery store and stuff. We, we have a lot of stuff in the car. But it's, you know, I want everybody to be comfortable, especially me. But I do think that two more of those cots would be a really smart idea. So maybe we'll pick up the pills at the pharmacy. We'll pick up a second cot. And we will go to the grocery store and get onions and eggs and we have hot dogs and ketchup we need marshmallows but my daughter-in-law is Muslim and so she doesn't eat gelatin that's made from pigs which is marshmallows are made from gelatin and gelatin comes from pig skin or pig toes or something. I don't know where it is but anyway the joints who knows where it comes from? I don't know. Anyway, so her marshmallows will be different. <sighs> I was going to bring bread and peanut butter and jam. I've got some peanut butter. My jam was moldy, so I don't have any jam. So I need jam. Is this on the list? Let's see. Make sure it's on the list. Um... Would you like to hear the list? This is the packing list. Tick tool, in case you get a tick in you. Tent, pillows, bedding, clothes. Now the bedding, what bedding have I got? I've got a sleeping bag for everybody and I've got this yellow thing for me plus a sheet. So I'll, I'll have my cot and I'll put this big negative 20 sleeping bag on that. And then I'll put my I'll open up this blanket thing and, and get in the middle of it and lean it over and have a sheet on top of that. What about the children? The children each have a sleeping bag. Maya likes to be cold. Desmond doesn't care. Um, and I have, a, I have a, an inner tube or whatever it's called, air mattress, but those things are, are historically not very useful. Hello. Here. Um, you pick up the medication in the pharmacy. Do you want to go do that, or should we do that on the way to go? Um, I think you have to have a seat. I have it figured out. Okay, you'll figure it out. Yeah, if we go and go to the pharmacy and get some medications, and then from there we go to Canadian Tire and get two more cots, and maybe a tent. Could we get a tent? It's really, it's really in a rain area. We are piling up, piling up purchases like hundreds of thousands of dollars every year, two hundred there. Okay, we will buy. We're not concerned about it. Okay then. But they do have uh, little mattresses to sleep on, like fifty bucks or so. We can buy two of them. We have one okay, air then. mattress, a big air mattress. Okay, then we can get another one, get another mattress. Well, no, it's huge. It'll fit both of them. Oh. It'll fill the whole tent. Okay, so we'll just test it. And make, make sure it doesn't leak. We don't have any way to pump it up, though. We oh. have to wait for Ben. He'll have a pump. Okay. Oh, I wonder if our air pump will do it. Our car pump. Yeah, but Mary Jane has it. Oh, okay. Because, because uh, that's in that, that car. That car the, the, the tires sometimes it's, uh, often inflate. It doesn't, you know, okay. Uh, leave that air go, so. Okay. All right, so um, if we have this air mattress, there is no bedding for them except their, their sleeping bags. Should we take along a comforter or two sure. to put on it and a sheet? Maybe we could just take a set of a sheets. A, and a comforter and a sleeping bag should be fine. Okay. Yeah. All right, so, and they've got pillows in the car too. Yeah. 
So the comforter, we can't take that one in the living room because it's something wrong with it. But there's another one up on Desmond's bed, okay. I think, folded up. Maybe that would be a good one, do you think? Okay, I'll bring Could it. you have a look? There might be two of them. If there's two, we'll see we have this space problem. But I want them to be comfortable. Well, we still have some space in the front seat, right? So. Well, who, won't somebody be sitting there? Well, you just you and uh, and you just you and this one and I, I think. You're not ta you're staying at home oh, without a car. Oh, that's right, yeah, that's right. That's the problem. Yeah. Well, okay then. Uh, well then I can. Maybe just take two trips. Like, uh, let's just see what they can do here. Yeah, we could go to the campsite. And so we could go to the store for your prescriptions. We could put those two comforters in the car and go to the store for your prescriptions. And we can go to the grocery store and just get what I'm going to cook mm. and then and what we're going to eat. Okay, yeah. So we can actually can put, we can put stuff in the back seat on top of the chairs for the time being. Right, because the children are not going to be in it yet. Yeah, and then you can go to the camp and load a bunch of stuff. Well, you really can't really load a bunch of stuff until then it's Cause, out of there. Because of the tent. However, if we get a tarp, let's get one of those free tarps at the lumber yard. Yeah. So we'll go. What's the logistic problem then? Too much stuff in the car. Well, if we get the tarp, then we can we can make a tent out of it and put the stuff under it. So it'll be, um, yeah, it'll be, uh, be, be, yeah, until Ben comes with a t tent, and then we can unload stuff there and leave it there, and then we can go back and get the kids, yeah. Okay, so instead of instead of this, this big tub in the front seat, we'll just put it uh, in between the seats or something. The only thing is, is, is the stuff of a light is already put the cooking stuff is kind of very bulky and I'm not sure whether it will fit anywhere else. What are we talking about now? You have all the cooking utensils, all the frying pan. Oh, right, yeah. that's That can all just sit on the children's seats, like you said. And the comforters could sit on the children's seats. Okay. And and then we'll okay. get an, another tarp. And we'll, we've will we got a tarp in there already, but we can get another tarp and put up a rope and put a tarp down so that... Um, so things don't get wet. Okay. If it rains at three. Well, are there some stuff that we can unload? Like we don't have to unload much stuff in order for uh, for there to be. You're right. You're right. We can just unload the. Uh, the, the big the big box that you have stuff in a, a, a little box, the plastic totes. Why not taking the plastic big box? Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But we could, um, what could we leave there? We could leave the dishes, the, the laundry basket of dishes. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, I have it down here on this. So our, our to purchase is onions, peppers, mushrooms, eggs, a kettle. Yeah, we have to make there. Okay, so we have to get the eggs out. Yeah. And I need the kettle or some sort of a, a a pot to put water in. I'd like to be able to make some nice warm tea or something. Cots, so you don't want to get two cots. I'd rather not. You got to be a bit careful. Okay. And we need uh, jam and bread. But we can get and marshmallows. Uh, now you're talking about. You were just talking about the air mattress. We have an air mattress. They don't need the cots. We have the air mattress, but the air mattresses historically don't work. But if it's just one, they're less likely to slide off the air mattress and end up on the floor. Okay. What are you going to sleep on? A cot, and with my air with my sleeping oh big sleeping bag in it, and then on top of it. There'll be up. I'll wrap up in a blanket. Okay. I'll be fine. So is there room in a tent for a cot and an air mattress? I don't know, but I also have a tent, so I can sleep in my tent on top of my cot. I like to do that. You put up a cot. You put up a little one or two person tent, one person I guess, on the cot, 
and then you put your blankets and pillow in it. Mm -hmm. And then you just sit on the cot and you lay down on the pillow and you just pull your feet in and on, and then you just zip it up. It's perfect. So we could do that. Ben says that they want to keep the, they don't want to take as much stuff this time. But then, I, I hope they bring the tarp. Or I could use this black tarp. Okay, so I guess I need to go through my list here, what's left to put in it. Um, let's see, a few items of clothing. I'm making the fire starter. Okay. Oh, we need potatoes too. Yes? And today is Thursday, right? It's Friday, right? So we're, we're up till the farmers is open till, till about four or five or something. I don't know, but we're gonna we can we'll just go past there on the way. I'll have my pills. What were you meaning? So we could go later in the day. I want to make sure that we don't go in as closed. Right. There is the hairy woodpecker. And look, a Willem. Mm. My darling. Okay, now do you have your tent handy that you want to use with your phone? Is it, is it already packed? Oh, it is. In the car. Okay. Everything is packed. So, so the extra tent for Ben is just to sort of see. The extra tent from Ben is what we're all sleeping in. I have a little tent, which I will put on top of my cot. And so you sleep in that? Mm -hmm. I'll, I could sleep in that. Yeah. Or in the meantime, I could, yeah, I could set it up and then, where'd he go? I could set it up and then put stuff in it so that we'll, we'll have less stuff in the car to go back and pick up the other stuff we need. I want to take these little children's chairs. There's three little children's chairs. Mm -hmm. If the kids are not with us, we could put them in the back seat. Mm -hmm. And I want the children to be able to sit around the fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can leave them out in the unload. The mm -hmm. There he is again. So, I would like to buy, I'll have to find my Oxymel and the water container. I think the water container is in the Hobbit hole. And um, the wires for the hot dogs are, are over on the driveway in our little campfire area. So bread and jam I want. To buy for the kids, I want to be able to just make them peanut butter and jam sandwiches if they don't want to eat anything. They might not want to eat that either, but at least I have something to, something for them to reject. <laughs> yeah. So that when they're starving, they'll have, they have a good memory of what it was like when they weren't starving. What they could have had. <laughs> and then we could wait till the next peanut butter and jam sandwich comes around. But we have hot dogs, silly hot dogs. Hot dogs and marshmallows. Marshmallows. Definitely eat marshmallows. Yeah. Should I do the? Um, I guess you get chocolate and and honey grams or what do they call graham crackers? Yeah, Put that down. Graham crackers. Those woodpeckers are not quite sure of us. They will all they will like get the guy here close or close. <laughs> that, guy, that guy over there. Oh, this is Mm. Elida said they were painting the cracks in the road with tar and they had a sign two sign men to let the cars go by mm -hmm. and our road is right in the middle of that <laughs> so 
she got past one to get out to get to there, but then if she's going to go out of our road, then she'll be just out in the middle of who knows who's coming from which way. <sighs> Luckily, we're on the inside of the curve, so you can see both ways, I think. The outside of the curve. I got to get a picture. You don't even know where you are, where they are from the road. Right in front of us, right down there on the road. Here. On the highway. Oh, here? Yeah, here. Okay, okay. When Elida was here this morning, she wasn't sure how she was going to get out. Okay, there's the list. Many things need to be... Oh, I shouldn't have put tick marks there. It makes it look like I've done that. All right, so... I'm gonna finish making that fire starter. writing a line through things I've already got. Okay, so we have one, two. Hi, guy. He looks really ragged, doesn't he? Do you think it's from the rain? Why does he look so dark? He used to have a beautiful white chest, unless he's a baby. He's pretty big for a baby, though. Yeah, it's a hairy woodpecker with a long beak. And so it is, it's a small size for a hairy woodpecker. Well, he's so dirty, right? His, their coats yeah. are usually quite white. Why are you so scared of us? We don't hurt you guys. You're fine. He was asleep on the birdcage one day when I came out. One, early one morning. Don't seem to have any fear. Okay then. So I guess I'll get up and get a few more items. Get this water container. That's kind of important. Mm -hmm. I'd rather have a, a gallon jug of water than it would be in glass and I wouldn't have to deal with the plastic. I think in order to save time, I think I should make a trip to the... Go ahead. Go yeah. ahead. Right now. Because yes. Go ahead. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, hmm. I should try and remember the fun stuff about camping. What is the fun stuff about camping? Sitting in the woods, sitting by the campfire. That's what I'll do, is I'll make a campfire. That's the most important thing. Make a nice campfire, and then... But once you make a campfire, you have to stay there with it. You can't make a campfire and then go and come. Just trying to figure it all out. Okay, so we have to go home hardware for um, tarps, those free tarps. And what was the next thing? And then we have to go to the grocery store. And we had to go, I guess we're not gonna buy extra cots. It's just as well, we really don't need them except right now. Home hardware, tarps, independent groceries. And what's the next thing? Is there anything else? Is there anything else I want to bring? Should I bring chips or something? I don't really want to be eating chips. It'd be better to eat hummus. That's the only thing we need, hummus. And apples. And oranges. And... Um, 
I don't remember if we have celery left or not. Or we could have lettuce. Lettuce or celery or something. Okay. There's a bluebird sitting on the wire up there. Isn't this a beautiful view? What a wonderful place. It's very cozy, you know. It's, it's all bordered by trees. It's not just an open field that goes into the distance. Very nice. I'm very blessed. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for my very beautiful view. I went around and put tape on the rest of the trees. There were some I hadn't done yet. I don't think I finished. I ran out of tape. Yeah, I'll have them get duct tape. I'll write that on my arm. Duct tape and meds. That's what he's doing. We should probably check and see if our wax is ready to pour onto this. Could you get duct tape at the gro at the dollar store beside it, please? Sure. Okay. Got you okay. wherewith medicine, to pay? Medicine. Yep. Yeah, I have wherewith to pay. Okay. Not a bit under and you get to run the roads without me backseat driving. Bonus. So is anybody saying anything today? Nobody's talking. Nobody's very talkative. How'd you make out through the storms? Did you have a lot of storms? Seems to be storms happening all the time now. Okay, so I'm going to make this... I'm going to melt the, I melted the wax. I'm going to pour it over this stuff. What about charcoal? What if I could get some charcoal going? I could take my Dutch oven. That water container. It's a rubber thing, I guess. Maybe it's plastic. They've got very bendable plastics now, don't they? But walking over to get the water is always a little difficult. That's why I need a walker. I could put it on there and walk it back. Or I could just have my regular little jar and just do one jar. We're supposed to go hiking on the trails tomorrow. Hiking, hiking, hiking. Hmm. I could offer to stay and tend the fire. I haven't been able to walk very much. My feet hurt if I walk very long. My feet or my legs or my hips or my back or my knees or something I have to pay more attention to it because I don't remember what it is that's actually wrong. But I think my feet are often not comfortable. They're better now. I've got these orthotics with these shoes. Where did I get these shoes? Did I get them in Holland? I don't remember. <sighs> I can go to sleep, don't you? Oh, good night sleep today, so I, it won't matter if I don't sleep tonight. I'll be okay on my cot. I was really okay on my cot other times, too. I was gonna t thinking of taking a ball for the kids to play soccer or something. But they're used to sitting around playing on screens, and they probably aren't going to do that. A big empty field is not very interesting to somebody with ADHD. With people with ADHD, they need lots of options. And the field does not give them lots of options. It's one thing. It's like the lake. It's one thing. Whereas a pond or a stream, there's many things. I hope
hope he didn't run over those little chairs I had behind the car. Nope, they're neatly put to the side. That's all right. Okay, let's check out this. I've got a few things we've got to do. Um, I've got to get a few clothes. And those we're going to buy food. And my oxymel. Okay, the oxymel is in the freezer. And the wax is in the oven. Let's check and see if they're ready for us. Yep, it's all water, or it's all liquid. So, now we have to take it out. Get some mittens. And we have this nice little jars of wax here, you see. So, how do I do this now? I've got to put this glove on here. And you can go, maybe you can get on this hot pen. I'll turn it off now. Okay. We'll go work on this outside. do this together. I have nowhere to put you. I can't hang you here or there or anywhere. If I turn this around, maybe I could hang you on the back of it. See on that thing? Okay, how's that? One. It's not very easy to pour. I have to do this a better way. There we go. I guess these melted. Oh well. So how's that? Pretty wet on the bottom. I've been it's gone through. Let's make another one.
It's really hard to hard to maneuver this thing. There we go. Okay, that's done. Not bad. Then I'll break it into pieces when I'm ready to cook it or to to use it. Okay, so we can click that off. So that was fire starter. Okay. So let's go get the rest of these things. So we need oxymel and the water container. Let's go look for the water container. Well, I don't think you can come with me. But you can stay up here and look. I don't know how far you can go, but look for long. Okay, I got it. Water container. Okay, so now more things that go to the... Hey, that is the, the same plant that was very long. But it died, most of it. Okay, so here we have the water container. Ta-da! And we have the fire starter. Water container, uh, wires for hot dogs. Let's put this over here. Is that Charlie? Oh, there he is. Charlie Chipmunk. No, Charlie Chipmunk. You gotta keep these things straight. These things straight, you know. Isn't that pretty? So, here is the water container. And what was the next thing I needed? It's nice out here, isn't it? Oxymel. I gotta go get the oxymel. I guess I get the the other stuff. I gotta do that chair cushion. That's not very nice, is it? But I don't really look at it, so I don't care. Alright, where's the next thing? Oh, wires for the hot dogs, that's right. Okay, this can go out there too. It's kind of went through on the bottom. It smells like fragrance oils. Oh well. 
This will dry up. Now, we have two coat hanger wires here. I'm put there so it can cool off. All right, wires for this. Here's, is that them? No. Is that one? No. Here's one. All right, I thought there were two. I think there are two. So this is kind of a yellow green. I don't know if the other one's yellow green too or not. Here it is, under here. All right, let's take them so the kids can do their hot dogs. Are you frozen? I can't tell. Now we need Oxamel. That's my drink. Elderberry, apple cider vinegar, apple cider vinegar. And, okay, so, Wires for hot dogs, so this can now go. Wash something with a towel. Okay, graham crackers. Pot holders, these pot holders are gonna go too. And I need a few items of clothing. And Oxymo, and that's it. That's awesome. So I've got pants and a dress and The oxymel is going to be in the freezer. Not the freezer. We have to go to the freezer again. Here it is. Dum da dum dum. Dum da dum dum dum. These are keeping it closed, I think. Aha, there's my insulation. Down here, I can get to it again. <laughs> Just a second here. Okay. Okay, so paint goes back on to keep it closed. Oxymel, haha, successfully retrieved. All right, so this can go out there. It's a pretty day. Did I get a pan? I'm going to use that red container. I don't need a kettle. We have some eggs in here. Maybe I should also go. They go into the cold bag though. Okay. I think we're ready. Just have to get a few items of clothing and. I like my violin. I like to sit around and play my violin, but I don't think it goes over well with my family. I don't think they really like the, the loud violin songs, you know? So how's everybody out there in the big world doing? Everything going well? All right.
right. I might need a hat. I have a hat. It's in the car, right? Okay. So what else do I need? Where are those two pairs of socks I had? I guess these will go in here. All right. I can't imagine how boring the video must be. <sighs> boring, boring, boring. Oh, hi, Shelly. Um, this is just an over a weekend thing. Camping with the grandchildren. And, and my family, my son's family. And he invited me to come and also invited the other children to come. Which sounds like a lovely idea. Okay, I think I'm gonna go. Thanks for helping me to stay focused. Bye.